So this is the world's first 240Hz OLED ultra-wide gaming monitor from LG. It's named LG 45G R95QE Ultra Gear if you want to look it up. Previously, ultra-wide monitors were available with either higher refresh rates and IPS or VA panels or with an OLED panel but a lower refresh rate but none of them offered all three in one package and that's exactly what LG has done here, which we're really excited about. So let's unbox it and enjoy the user experience together. The monitor comes in a large box which is quite obvious considering it's a huge 45 inch ultra wide. Opening the box we found a package that contains most of the accessories to get this monitor up and running including an HDMI 2.1 cable, a display port, a USB upstream cable, the power brick and even a tiny remote along with a cable management clip. The setup process was pretty straightforward. First. We had to prepare the stand by simply screwing it into the base and as this monitor is Visa compatible, all we had to do was clip the stand on the back of the monitor which made a satisfying clicking noise. And that's how we knew it was good to go. And the best part was we did all of this without any additional tools. Sitting in front of the monitor, the first thing that really drew us in was the 800R curvature. The display seemed a bit too much at first, but as time went by, it literally felt like the screen was wrapping around us, creating an incredibly immersive viewing angle. Compared to our traditional ultra-wide monitor, this one had more vertical screen space to offer, which felt awesome. Now, the design is on another level, and we gotta say LG has completely nailed it with this one. The stand felt solid as it's made out of metal, which is important considering how wide the monitor is. Besides supporting the monitor, the stand offered a range of adjustments for swivel, tilt and height. Not so much room to adjust, but it was there to achieve the perfect viewing angle we were looking for. While doing this, we noticed the monitor wobbled quite a lot, but when we consider how huge the monitor is, it becomes normal. While we did not find any built-in cable management, the included clip was handy to keep the cables out of sight. One thing that caught our eye is that it has a pretty beefy back. A lot of the computer components are inside here, like your motherboard and everything. So, while the rest of the panel itself is thin, the perks of being OLED nonetheless, it adds to the sleek overall design and we do appreciate it. The RGB grid on the back was a nice touch as well and we kept it on static for a simple and clean back glow. Surprisingly, we also found a down firing light underneath which is pretty cool. As for the ports, we found a wide fleet of them on the back. There's one DisplayPort 1.4 and two HDMI 2.1 ports that are there for pumping out that 240Hz high refresh rate. Additionally. We also found two USB-A ports and an upstream port that made connecting devices such as a keyboard and a mouse a lot easier for us. We were quite surprised when we found out that there was an optical port for speakers and a headphone jack with DTS-X support for immersive spatial audio. In the end, it was quite nice to have all these options for a customized setup that fit our gaming and entertainment needs. Let's talk about the key features of this monitor starting with the fact that it's an OLED panel. We had an absolute banger while playing first-person shooters such as Valorant and Apex Legends as they felt pretty responsive. With a high refresh rate of 240Hz and an incredibly low response time of 0.03 milliseconds, competitive games on this monitor felt practically instantaneous. While sitting in the front, the 45 inches ultra wide display felt massive while the 800R curve and a 21 by 9 aspect ratio helped produce our head turning and for this reason, we could easily see the minimap and other HUD elements while gaming comfortably. As for the adaptive sync, we found that it has both AMD FreeSync Premium and Nvidia G-Sync which was quite useful as we have an Nvidia card. We were curious to try out what other games the curvature could be fun to use with and finally decided to hook it up with our sim racing rig and played some laps of F1 2023. 
and trust us when we say this the experience was pretty close to the real deal. As for the details, the colors appeared vibrant and the blacks were deeper. LG's claim of a 1.5 million to 1 contrast ratio combined with DCI-P398.5% color gamut really did shine on the visual fidelity of this monitor. The HDR10 compatibility took it up a notch as in-game props and shadows looked highly detailed. Normally we would calibrate every monitor we get our hands on but the OLED panel on this monitor uses micro lens array and out of the box, the colors look great. In terms of brightness, the monitor can go up to 1000 nits of brightness and HDR 3% APL. And in game, we notice quite a bit of difference when HDR is turned on versus off. We also want to mention the auto brightness limiter that stays static regardless of the APL percentage on every mode except vivid. As for the resolution, we were initially worried about the 3440 by 1440 resolution because it sounded limiting for a 45 inch monitor. But our concerns were quickly put to rest after playing a few rounds of Overwatch. The pixels looked sharp and it was quite easy to spot enemies from a variety of ranges. We also started our second run of Cyberpunk 2077 and it felt like a completely new experience on this massive OLED panel. Talking about OLED panels, burn-in is an issue that often bugged us for trying it out for desktops as there are plenty of still elements on the screen. But we are relieved to see that LG has integrated an OLED care mode on this one that offers a handful of display options to prevent burn-in. The display even automatically turned off while we were away to grab a bite during our gaming session and when we got back, it automatically initiated pixel cleansing which is a nice thing to see. Now let's talk more in depth about the OSD of this monitor. As always, the gaming UI on LG monitors is awesome and this one was no exception. We precisely calibrate everything down to our exact preference and there were plenty of preset modes available for use as well. And get this, the included remote made the entire process even more convenient as we could just adjust the screen brightness from a distance. Honestly, we hated adjusting the brightness by using the joystick under or side of a monitor. Using the remote to do that felt new and seamless. And due to the curved nature of the display, there was also picture by picture and picture in picture mode that helped us utilize the screen space for seamless multitasking. Everything considered, the LG 45G R95QE impressed us with its exceptional OLED panel and fast response time. As a first of its class, we could rarely find any downside to this as our gaming needs were fully met. However, we suggest you to turn off the smart energy saving option in the monitor settings for an even brighter viewing experience. LG has released a firmware update for the game mode which has improved the brightness and picture clarity in both SDR and HDR. If you're considering switching to an OLED monitor with a high refresh rate and hyper fast response time, then this one can be your best bet. So that was all about the LG 45G R95QE Ultra Gear Monitor Review, thanks for watching. If you found this video to be helpful, please give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends and let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below. Subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon if you want to see more videos like this on your feed.